Imitation of Life ended up having just this extraordinary impact on the African-American community because it was really the one Hollywood film of the Depression era that suggested there was such a thing as a contemporary race problem in America. I'm not black. I'm not black. I won't be black. It tells the story of two women, a black woman and a white woman. Yes? Good morning. Each is without a husband. Each has a young daughter to raise. At one point in, in the movie, the black woman is preparing breakfast for the white woman. The white woman's so impressed with her pancakes. I've never tasted anything so good in all my life. How do you make them? It's a secret. And it's going to die with Delilah. She gives the recipe to the white woman. The white woman eventually markets a mix based on that recipe. And then in one sequence that today is unbelievable to us, the white woman offers the black woman a 20% interest in the company. Well, of course, this is very kind of the white woman, uh, particularly since without the black woman, there would have been no company whatsoever. Now, here are the papers for you to sign. But if I sign them, then what? Then you'll have a 20% interest in the Aunt Delilah Corporation. You'll be rich. Heartache comes to the two women in imitation of life because of their daughters. And for the black woman, the great heartache comes when her daughter decides to cross the color line and pass for white. The director, John Stahl, was determined to find a white-looking black actress to play this light-skinned young black woman. They turned their eyes to New York City, and that's where they saw Freddie Washington. And Freddie Washington was known as the girl with the boy's name, the black girl with the green eyes, the black girl who looked white. Early in her career, she had been urged to pass for white, that she would have a chance at a big career, and she refused. She said, in essence, she could never be anything other than what she was. Freddie Washington told me that the one line in Imitation of Life that she hated was the line when she said that she wanted to be white. What's my baby want? I want to be white, like I look. Viola. And Freddie Washington said that the character she felt didn't want to be white for the sake of whiteness. She wanted to be white to have the same chances that everybody else in that house was going to have. Oh, my baby. On the one hand, the black audience really did pick up on the thing that she wanted white opportunities, and that they could understand and connect to. But the audience could not accept her rejection of her mother, and in essence, her rejection of her culture. What can I do for you? Viola, why, why, Viola, child, I'm your mammy. Why, that's ridiculous. I never saw you before in my life. What's the meaning of this? This woman doesn't know what she's talking about. Do I look like her daughter? There's a great sequence. It's at the end of a party that Claudette Colbert, the white woman, has given, and now she's made all this money off this pancake recipe. And at the end of the party, she and Delilah, played by Louise Beavers, uh, they're talking, and Delilah is still subservient. And at the end of the evening, they say good night to each other. And as they go to their separate quarters, we see this beautiful home that really Louise Beavers' pancake recipe has built. We see Claudette Colbert ascend up the steps and Louise Beavers descends downstairs. And it's visually just striking that John Stahl has just put it there. Race relations aren't so clear cut for Freddie Washington in the drama, Imitation of Life. Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern, part of our spotlight on race in Hollywood on Turner Classic Movies.